Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calcone Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open higher this morning. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.1% gain. On Friday, the market closed 0.61% higher at 7,745. In business news from this morning, Downer EDI today announced it's filed its defense in the class action proceedings brought against Downer in 2023 relating to a maintenance contract in its Australian utilities business and its impact on Downer's financial performance and its earnings guidance in 2022. Downer has also pleaded a defense third-party statement of claim and proportional liability defense against its auditor, KPMG. Downer anticipates that as a consequence, KPMG will cease to act as Downer's auditor later this month. Downer will start a process to appoint a replacement auditor for the financial year ending 30th of June 2024. Borrell recommends that shareholders take no action in relation to the off-market takeover offer from Seven. The off-market offer of 0.1116 SGA shares at $1.50 cash for each Borrell share that it does not already own. The target statement will be on the 15th of March and will include an independent expert's report on whether the offer is fair and reasonable to Borrell shareholders. The offer is currently open until the 4th of April unless extended or withdrawn. Genix Power has received a non-binding indicative and conditional proposal from Electric Power Development Company to acquire all of the ordinary shares on issue in Genix that J Power and its associates do not already own by way of a member scheme of arrangement for 0.27.5 cents in cash per Genix share. The indicative proposal also contains an alternative structure under which J Power will potentially also concurrently with the potential scheme make an off-market takeover bid for all of the Genix shares for 27 cents in cash per Genix share. Well, let's take a break here. I'll be back with more news set to affect your trading day. Right now, Calkine is offering a seven-day free trial on its premium research reports. Get access to data-driven market insights combined with an in-depth analysis on financial markets across the globe. Don't miss it. Subscribe for the free trial now. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. Let's take a look overseas now. The Nasdaq advanced 1.14%. The S&P 500 added 0.80%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 0.23%. European markets closed higher. London's FTSE gained 0.69%. Frankfurt added 0.32% and Paris closed 0.09% higher. In Asia, Tokyo's Nikkei gained 1.9%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng added 0.47% and China's Shanghai Composite gained 0.39%. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.